We're at a goat barbecue festival. Cook off in Texas in Electra. It's Dad's birthday, and this is what Let's he requested we do. We'll just come birthday. on over here. We'll show you where we came in. I missed it. This whole yeah, area right. over here. Yeah. We got looking at over there with the camera. Oh. Hopefully, pass me. Yeah. No, we're no, no. We're just kind of zooming this whole area. Yeah. We love this whole thing, man. It's great. No problems. <laughs> I like this barbecue. That one's cool. With, with a, uh, a shotgun. Yeah, my Duck Dynasty guy. This is everything I had hoped it would be. No, it was. It's better. I rode into town about an hour ago. I had to check my pressure. My tank was running low. Next thing I see, been in for low cut tea. Uh, that's a sweet little honey saying I sure like shot. I took off my hat and I smiled right back. I never seen a pair of legs or dangerous curves like that. I showed her inside. Yeah, I said, let's go for a ride. And then she smiled at me and said, I should like to try. She's taking her time. She keeps telling me I sure like your truck. So you said it got started with a couple guys deciding to barbecue a goat? Yes, because they were in town for Mother's Day. Yes. So they'd go out to the river, barbecue a goat, people would come. Right. Well, word spread, so they got more people, got more goats. Okay. Well, it got so big then that they moved it over to the rodeo grounds. Okay. Had it over there for a while. And then, it eventually got big enough to move over here. There are guidelines, yes. Uh -huh. They can use any seasoning they want, uh -huh. any sauce you want. Okay. But after you take it out of the pit, you can't put any more sauce on it. It's done. Okay. So how long do most of these guys uh, barbecue the, the goat? Typically? Oh, they, that's the reason it's postponed in the afternoon, because a lot of them, they cook it for six hours. Okay, so it's a slow smoke? Uh -huh. yes. It's a it's a tip to make it taste good. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have Brittany's gonna do the preliminary chicken test judge. And then I go on to the semifinal after she's done. So this is where they got them all set up. Yeah, it's recording. So here's the judges' boots. So they got all this chicken here. Hey, Brett. You guys got a dog. You got the same. Have you had some really good ones, Britt? You can tell the difference, huh? Good. 
It's so? really fun. It's probably one of the most fun things I've ever done. No way. I think uh, you're going to have a blast, Dad. It sounds amazing. Like each one tastes really different and yeah. with free beer. And everyone at my table is really nice. They look nice. The guy over there, he was in uh, Vietnam. The guy with the grape? Yeah, and then the lady that I'm sitting next to, she's a, um, she's a nurse. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, with it, when you had the the killer chicken, did you know? I was like, this is it. Yeah, at first I was a little bit concerned because I kept trying. And I was like, oh. And I was like, maybe I don't like chicken as much as I thought I did. But yeah. then I started getting some really good ones. And then I started cutting into the bread. You're like, ooh, I love the chicken. I gave like 